Okay, welcome to part two of the multimeter. First part, we talked about how to measure DC electronics. Now we're going to measure AC electricity. On our meter, as we set up, we've got it set to voltage with our common and to our voltage lead setting. We turn our machine back on, our multimeter back on. We're set to voltage. Remember to go from AC to DC. We need to select AC. Now a few points about the multimeter itself. When we read voltage, we are always reading across the item in which we want to measure. So for example, I have an outlet and I am going to measure across this outlet strip. You don't see the rest of the outlet strip, but you know that there's an outlet strip, we've plugged it in, and there's 120 volts. As we measure across this, the voltage is conducting a very small amount of current inside the multimeter. So the multimeter, when it's set to voltage, has an internal resistance that is as high as we can possibly get it, which in the perfect world would be about a million billion ohms. In reality, it's only much simpler and lower to about a few hundred K ohms. And so there is a potential for us to be shocked if we are not careful with what's going on. The multimeter runs on a nine volt battery. So behind the case, there's a nine volt battery. That nine volt battery provides enough power to run the multimeter. So when we measure the AC DC or DC voltage, we are really using a multimeter's 9 volt battery to help assist us. We say that this multimeter is floating. We don't have it bonded or grounded, so when I hold it, there is no potential coming from the 9 volt battery through my body. So it's a very real concern that we have that when we use a multimeter, we do not use a cheap multimeter. A high grade multimeter will have a, a NIDA certification or standard on it, and that certification slash standard will allow us to use these multimeters at a variety of settings. So for example, you see that this is a category two multimeter. And in essence, that means we can go up to about 480 volts AC. Yes, it's the rating is 600 volts, but due to some factors, we really don't want to go much beyond that. What that means here is we've set our meter to read AC and I'm reading across. I can read across an outlet by placing my two probes right into it. I do not want the two probes to touch. That would be a dead short and that's bad. I read 122.8 volts AC. This is an RMS reading. This is not its peak. If I switch the plus and the minus, and there is no plus and minus with AC or the leads, but if we switch the red and the black, it's associated with polarity, and I go from neutral into the hot and the hot to the neutral by switching the red and black, it's still the same AC because there's no polarity associated with that. What we're saying is this multimeter has read 122.7 volts RMS. That is not its peak voltage. The peak voltage is actually 1.414 times the 122, which is about roughly 170 volts. So for every sine wave, we are seeing 170 volts peak, even though this meter reads 122. So again, in highlight, measurements of voltage is always across our item in measurement. We must set the multimeter to properly read that through two situations, where the leads are at, where the dial's at, and in association with the dial, what range slash measurement we're looking to do. In that case, it's AC. 